Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we are talking about TCU edge rusher Ben uh, Bonagu, uh, which I hope, hopefully I said that right. If I didn't, uh, just leave a comment below roasting me. Uh, but we're going to be looking at the TCU edge rusher because he has a good production profile and he has a good athleticism profile, and I think there's a good chance that he could become a very underrated edge in day two because uh, there's a lot of great edge rushers in this year and I think it's going to push him down into day two but I think he has a good enough profile that he could become a great player when it's all said and done. Uh, so if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do all terms and definitions will be in the description and with all that stuff out of the way let's get to his production profile. So first of all Ben had a 85.67 solo tackle score, 62.42 sack score and an 86 uh, tackle for loss score looking at the thresholds of the position he pretty much hits uh, all the pro bowl thresholds you're looking at uh, doesn't hit the all pro threshold in terms of his sack score but it's still a good profile uh, so the only area where he has some concern is in terms of his sacks but it's also important to remember that he was he was sort of a uh, he wasn't a uh, you know he, he was kind of like a rush linebacker type of TCU if that makes any sense so like a Leo position you know that's kind of what he was so um, he's someone that wasn't really rushing the passer as much as you would think I guess is all I'm trying to say so very Khalil Mackish I think is the best way I can explain this for Ben uh, he isn't Khalil Mack but just very similar in terms of his production profile uh, and of course when you look at the athleticism Fantastic. 95.42 in terms of explosion, 78.82 in terms of speed, and 83.65 in terms of flexibility for his size. Uh, pretty much hits all the all pro and pro bowl thresholds in terms of the bottom and thresholds of the position. And his overall athleticism does link up more of a pro bowl player than an all pro player, uh, but definitely a great all around athleticism profile. And when it comes to production comps, uh, you know, production comps, of course, are just looking at who tested similarly. Uh, in terms of their production data and Paul Kruger is that guy that shows up now Paul Kruger is not anywhere close to as athletic as athletic as Ben uh, so d don't worry you know just because he's being compared to Paul Kruger that's not the end of the world uh, but it's just a guy that has a similar production profile a guy who produced in a similar way uh, was Paul Kruger uh, and when you look at athleticism comps um, Cameron Wake keeps showing up he's essentially like a faster and more flexible version of Cameron Wake in terms of his overall profile as an athlete. So, great athlete, good production traits. Uh, I'm very excited about him. I think that this is someone that will definitely need some time to develop uh, and uh, you know and do his thing. But I mean, that may not be the case either. So, if you are a big TCU Ben fan, uh, if you're a big fan of Ben and you see him as a pro bowl edge i can't disagree with you because he has such a great production profile such a great athleticism profile um the comps to him are fantastic as well that i could see a lot of really great things for ben i really can so um again uh if your team needs an edge rusher in day two uh because of uh you know because again the, the only reason why this is happening is because of just how many edges there are in this class you know there, there's so many great edge rushers in this class that tested well and productive and were productive that ben has a good chance of being like a steal this year uh, so if you're if you're mocking mock them to your team in day two and and and, uh, and don't look back because uh, he has a great profile and uh, i think he deserves a little bit more attention than he's already getting right now and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcobern.wordpress.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And also become a Patreon subscriber today. Uh, make a $5 donation and you really, really help this channel out. If, if you like this content, if you can't get enough of it, uh, and you want more content even, uh, become a Patreon subscriber today because I always uh, check my Patreon page. I add content there, uh, you know, almost every day. I try to add content there. And on top of that, player requests. If you have player requests, the Patreon subscribers get priority in terms of whoever they suggest for a video to be done or a profile to be done uh, and from 
February, March, and April this year. All new Patreon subscribers from February, March, and April this year will receive the 2019 NFL Draft Analytics Guide for free. So you get that guide for free by becoming a Patreon subscriber as well. So go out and do that. If you, if you want that guide, if you, if you need it, if you want some sneak peeks into the guide, uh, become a Patreon subscriber today because I'm always posting content that has not yet been released there just so that you guys have an idea of what will be available. And with all the stuff out of the way, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.